state in the wake of the coronavirus disease pandemic. A lot has happened. Nations in the world are taking stand steps to contain this ravaging public health challenge. Our nation, Nigeria, is not an exception. We salute the leadership and courage of Mr. President, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, the National Presidential Tax Force on Coronavirus Disease in dealing with this global emergency in Nigeria. In every state, consistent with our commitment to provision of health care and preservation of the sanctity of human life, we have in the past weeks taken proactive safety measures to contain the coronavirus disease pandemic. These measures include the following. One, strengthening the State Emergency Operations Center led by the State Ministry of Health. Two, the establishment of a multi-sectoral rapid response team comprising representatives of relevant ministries, departments and agencies including local and international partners such as Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, World Health Organization, WHO, United Nations International Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF. Three, the release of 330 million Naira only for strengthening the coronavirus disease preparedness and response. Out of this sum, 150 million Naira only is dedicated to purchase of additional ambulances and incident vehicles, personal protective equipment, upgrade of state infectious disease isolation center, training of health workers, advocacy and public enlightenment. The sum of 80 million naira only is for restocking of the state's drug revolving scheme, while the remaining 100 million naira only is provisioned for unforeseen public health challenges. In view of the escalating threat of the coronavirus disease pandemic. I, in consultation with the state multi-sectoral rapid response team, security agencies, and other relevant stakeholders, now order the following additional safety measures with immediate effect. One, closure of all educational institutions in the state. Two, all public officers and civil servants to work from home till further notice except the following. A, health workers. B, forest guards. C, neighborhood watch personnel. D, water corporation staff. E, waste management operatives. F, staff of Enugu State Emergency Management Agencies. G, firefighters. And H, all those involved in other essential services. Three, suspension of all cultural and social gatherings including the following A, marriage ceremonies, B, burial ceremonies, C, masquerade festivals, D, drinking bars, E, nightclubs, and F, all group sporting and recreational activities. Four, the social distancing protocol as advised by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control should be observed during public religious worship, as well as in restaurants and eateries. Five, all local government council chairmen are hereby directed to mobilize the environmental and community health workers to sustain the ongoing public enlightenment on protocol for prevention of coronavirus disease transmission in our markets and parks. Six, all public transport operators in the state are to observe the following rules on passenger conveyance in each instance. A, keke, not more than two passengers. B, commuter buses not more than two passengers per seat. C, city car, not more than three passengers. All public places to observe high level of hygiene by use of sanitizers and frequent hand washing as early advised by the Enugu State Ministry of Health. Eight, the law enforcement agencies in the state have been directed to enforce strict compliance with above stated measures. Residents are advised to make provision for basic needs while we await further advice from the state multi-sectoral rapid response team, government will continue to update our people as the need arises. I commend the efforts of our health care providers for their commitment and dedication to duty, as well as resilience in the challenging times. 
Ndienugu. While I regret the inconveniences that are both measures will inevitably occasion for our people, I join everyone to make this necessary sacrifice to protect ourselves and the future of our world. It is my conviction that abiding grace of the most merciful God will see us through this time. Enugu State is in the hands of God. In all we do in Enugu State, we give God the glory, honor, and adoration. Thank you, and God bless.